So I was wanting to go over navigation today, specifically adding a button here that was like start workout and then we'd be transitioning to a new screen. And to do that, I was planning on using React Navigation because I saw they have a React Native web version um, and it works really nice for a React Native. So it'd be nice to be able to use it. But after I tried out the example, I saw the React Native web, web one was kind of just meh and I didn't see a great way to integrate it so we could have one kind of routes that would work for both the native and for the web. Um, I didn't see a great way to do that and they didn't have TypeScript types. So I was like, well, let's go check out how DevHub does it to see how they were doing navigation. And it turns out they actually have just a ternary operation and they have just two screens, uh, a login screen and a main screen, and that's how they're picking. And our application is not too complex, so I figured we might as well do it in a similar manner and use MobX to keep the state and just kind of have a ternary where we switch which page we're displaying. Uh, because React Navigation, at least for the web, uh, seems like it still has some time before it's production ready slash really uh, a good choice. Um, so that's what we're gonna do in today's video. So I have the app up or the website up and we're going to create a uh, in the common package a new folder here and i'm going to call this routes actually i'm just going to create it as a file call it routes.tsx and this is going to basically where i'm going to store it so i'm going to say export const routes and we're going to return uh, null for now now, uh, I said we're going to store this in MobX, so I'm going to create a new store, which I'm going to say routers, or I guess route routes store. I don't know if that's the best name for it. Um, and I'm going to come over here and just copy the counter example. So routes. Uh, actually, you know, I like router store better. Just thinking about it. Let's go matches this better I guess well I guess I call that routes oh well uh, so I'm gonna say router store here router store context and then I'm gonna say this is gonna be a path and the default path I'm gonna say is the home page which uh, actually I'm gonna call the home page the history page because I think we're gonna store the workout history uh, on the front page so I'm gonna call that history um, and then Actually, you know what? Well, so the history kind of implies like a navigation history or route history, so I don't want that to be confusing. So that's just kind of what went through my brain with the naming convention right here. Um, so you know what? Maybe we'll go back to home, but I think I'll keep it for history for now. Um, maybe I'll come and switch it later. As you can see, I'm not great with naming things. Um, all right, so we have this, and so we're just going to use this in our routes over here. Um, in the same manner that we use the counter context. So we'll use that. Uh, so this is going to be the router store, use context, router uh, store context. Let's import use context um, and come back to our router store. Uh, oh, not router store. Uh, we just need to use observer around this. I was going to copy and paste, but there's not really a good way to copy and paste it, so we'll just we'll just do that. Uh, and then we need to import this from the MobX Lite. So that is this one right here. For whatever reason, it doesn't uh, autocomplete well for me, at least when I do like uh, control space. Uh, just kidding, it worked today, so actually we're good to go. Uh, and so what I'm thinking here is we'll just conditionally render stuff based on what the uh, router store value is. So if I go to, I'm gonna create a new folder now, which I'm gonna call modules. Inside of there, I'm gonna call, create a history. You know what, yeah, that, that's confusing. Let's just call it home. No, I'll call workout history, there we go. That's what I should really just do to make it super clear. So we'll say workout history. Um, and here I'm gonna say export const workout history. And uh, I should really, one, I already have a, uh, oh, this should be TSX, TSX. Uh, I forgot I have the uh, RH uh, thing that I was gonna use. This is my uh, template to just create a React hook or a snippet. 
So let's use that to just save us a little typing. Workout history. Uh, and so the workout history is just gonna say view text uh, workout history page for now. Import all that, import the text as well. Uh, and we're gonna have just uh, empty props for now. Give that a save. Uh, and then the other screen is going to be the current workout.tsx. And uh, you know what? We could just copy what we have over here because we're going to do the same thing and just rename it. That'll be the fastest. Uh, and I misspelled page, but that is okay. Current workout page. And let's rename that current workout page. Okay, so let's just recap what we have so far. I made a dummy component called current workout. I created another dummy component called workout history. And these are basically going to represent the pages of our application. We have a MobX store that's going to store which page we're actually rendering uh, using this path. Um, and maybe path is not the best name, really. It should be like, a, I guess, let's say screen is the best name for it, I suppose. Uh, and then in routes over here, this is what's going to display. And you know what? Instead of routes, we could really call it router. I think that makes more sense because that's really what it's doing. So what we're going to do here is basically decide which one we're going to render. Uh, so here we can say router store dot screen is equal to workout history. And you know what? I should make this uh, so this a type a union type, and then we get auto completion. So uh, and say routes workout history is really the only route right now. All right, so now if I do that, I think we should get auto completion here. Yeah, so pretty cool that you get auto completion on strings because it knows that the only possible type this can be is workout history. So there we go. So if it's equal to workout history, we're gonna render the workout history screen. Otherwise, we're gonna just render the current workout current workout page. I just want to call it current workout, not current workout page. So let me get rid of that. Uh, so we'll rename that there and then th that's good there. Uh, and it looks like I need to import react at the top. Uh, so this router now is what's going to be uh, rendered over here. So uh, we have all this junk and we're saying export const app. Now I'm just going to say export con actually we should just say export uh, all from router. Actually, that's not what I want to do. I want to say, so what I'm trying to decide is if I want to actually keep this container style and I think I do. So I think I'm just going to get rid of all this stuff here and do this. Uh, and so now we'll have router like that. Okay. I think I like that. So I'm gonna get rid of this. We don't need an observer here. And we can get rid of some of these styles. All right, so now what we're doing is we're rendering our app, which just renders the router. And then uh, that router has these two screens right here. Uh, so let's look at that. So we have this, it's his workout history page. Um, and so now if I wanna change pages, we can add our observer, um, observer. And then we can get access to the MobX state that we used or the uh, router store. And that allow us to say use context. And we're going to say router store, router store context. And we're going to just add a button to transition. So this is going to be uh, like create workout. And actually, on React Native, you say title, so create workout like that. And then we're gonna say on press, and we're gonna say router store dot screen is equal to workout history. Oh, you know what? It can be now two possible screens. So button uh, React Native is where we're gonna import it from. So let's go back to our screen over here. So it can either be workout history or current workout. And so we're just going to transition this to current workout. Give that a save. 
Uh, so now if I click that, it'll transition me to the current workout page. And of course, if I refresh, it's gonna take us back to the home page or the workout history page. So cool. Uh, and we can add a button back over here. It says like go back or something, um, which we'll do in the future. And this is gonna be basically how we're gonna store or access the router state is we can just access it through the uh, router store context that we create with MobX. Um, anyway, so that's how we're gonna be handling navigation is just through this MobX store. Um, Cause one, it's dead simple. Um, and it will work and looks like it is you can actually use this in a real application and dev hub has had success with that Anyway guys, uh, there's one last thing that I want to do before I end the video and that's just to uh, Make this style uh, a slight change to this So I just want to make so this wraps or that this is kind of like phone size um, so if I right-click and inspect um, I can click on this uh, we can get what the size of like a phone is. So for example, we can get a large mobile phone is 425 pixels. So I'm gonna just set like this container to 425 pixels, or I'm gonna create a new one, which I'm gonna call a wrapper. So style wrapper, styles.wrapper. And what my wrapper is gonna do here is all it's gonna say is the width is gonna be 100%, but it's gonna have a max width of 425 reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want my content to just like stretch uh, the entire screen as it gets really big and I kind of just want it to be centered right here at 425 and that be where it stays um, so that's the plan is to have like this little wrapper and I think I want the color I can't decide if I want this color um, in the center I think I do so I'm just gonna move the background color to here and have it like that um, the other thing that we need to do is you'll notice that the color doesn't extend the full screen. If I hover over this, we're not currently doing, or we're not, uh, this is this content. If we hover over, you can see that blue, it's not taking up the full screen. There's actually something in the React uh, native web documentation about this, how we have to make the height 100%. So we're gonna do that real quick because uh, that'll be helpful to so spans the whole screen as well. Uh, so to do that, we actually need to touch some HTML. So we're going to go just to the web, public, index.html. And all we're going to do is we're going to add a few styles. So we're going to say style height 100% is the first one we're going to add. Um, and we're just going to add that to both the HTML, the body, and the div. Because those are all the things that are uh, not 100% right now. Uh, so if we look at the HTML is not 100%, body, the div, and now I think this, we can set it as 100%, I think now, and then it'll be able to match. Also, one thing I noticed when I was uh, kind of digging around with this is the inspect tool is kind of broken with React Native Web, or at least it's not as good. You'll notice if I'm like looking at the styles of stuff, it's kind of broken up a ton. So like, let's say I want to see what color this button is. Uh, it's not really clear and everything's broken up into a hundred properties. So the uh, inspect, uh, being able to inspect and basically play with the CSS and stuff is not exactly something you can do with React Native Web because of that and how many just classes they spit onto this. Um, but anyway, that's just a side note that I noticed. Uh, if we come back over here, we can uh, say this is, has a height of 100%, I think. We're saying flex one. So I'm not sure what else we need to add uh, to make it. I think that was the only things that I saw in the docs to make the height 100%. Um, I guess we have to target this guy right here and set its height to 100%, which is, this is kind of the outermost div that we just did, or the outermost view. So I'm gonna go check the React Native Web uh, docs. In the next video, we'll make sure this spans the entire page because we kind of want it to. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.